because of all the hotel chains, Hyatt is absolutely the worst. We don't mind working hard, but we do mind being abused. That's what this is all about. We are overworked. Shame on Hyatt. in this country it's a right to strike and uh, you know these workers are making a huge sacrifice losing their wages for a whole week as it is they live on the edge but they're willing to make that sacrifice because it's been two years almost two years that uh, we've been without a contract and of all the hotel chains Hyatt is by far the most abusive I'm Judy Chu and I'm a congress member of the 32nd district this is not my district but I am a huge supporter of Unite Here I know that hotel workers are exploited throughout this country and the things that the Hyatt is doing to the workers is just inexcusable. We're not on strike just here in the Los Angeles area but also in Chicago and also in San Francisco and also in Honolulu. The workers at the Hyatt should get not only a living wage, they should get quality health care and their workload should be human, not made to destroy people and hurt people and then turn them out and bring in new people. Well, the bell, shouldn't you be inside running the hotel? Right now in the California State Legislature, there's a bill um, that, that would require California hotels to go to fitted sheets because when you use flat sheets, it leads to more repetitive motion injuries. Right. High Corporation has opposed the use of fitted sheets because they say it would take too much money to start supplying the hotel with fitted sheets. As vacationers, it doesn't matter to you whether you have fit or flat sheets. No. That's right. And it helps a lot because we want fitted sheets as well. They're marching to see who's winning. What are you doing out here if this isn't your hotel? Well, I mean, working family. I mean, I mean uh, whatever I mean, happens to the Hyatt workers, it happens to us. Por qué estás aquí, Thor? Chando. Why? What is over the top of that? Why over the top, right? we're in holidays and we come from Spain. And we've got a... We have got a, to be here. And we're sitting out there and listening to this crap all night. So, and that's Hyatt's nah, that's fault, cool. not theirs. You can talk. You could really talk to the Hyatt and demand a refund. They won't no, because it's not paid for by me. It's a company. <laughs> as they come in and out. They... Well, I mean, look, this is there's a strike here and, and it's important that people respect the picket line and I think we've really lost our, our cultural understanding of what it means to go on strike and so I think people, some people don't even know. So we just ask them, you know, please don't cross the picket line, there's a strike going on, please respect the boycott of this hotel. You know, um, And if we think the unionized workers who are on strike right now have it bad, think about the non-union hired workers in San Antonio, in Santa Clara, in Indianapolis, and in Long Beach. In their statement, management says they wish the union leaders had settled their contracts so the associates could be spared a work stoppage that has nothing to do with their wages and benefits. Hyatt's right that this isn't about wages and benefits. Workers want the right to be able to pick a strike or boycott on behalf of other workers who are fighting to organize. Oh.